Question 1. I purchased a chemistry book that came with your software but I lost the installation codes. Answer. Fax the sales receipt from the bookstore that shows proof of purchase to 617-588-9360 and indicate the name and version number on the CD-ROM. I e -chem Office Limited 4.5 Provide an email address and we will email you a new set of codes. Question 2. What is activation and why do I need to do it? Answer. Activation is new in our 9.0 products. Similar to the way that Microsoft has implemented activation in Windows and their Office products. We have implemented activation in our software to help prevent the illegal use of our software. The benefit to the user is that we will be able to provide you with a higher level of customer support. Question 3. How do I activate my software? Answer. Once you fill in your name and a valid serial number, the activate later. Activate over the internet and activate by phone slash fax slash email buttons will go from grayed out to active. If for some reason you choose not to activate now, you can choose the activate later button and the installation will continue. However, each time you launch one of the programs installed, you will see this prompt which means entering your name and serial number each time. If you are connected to the internet and have no firewalls running, you can choose the activate over internet button. If you have any problems with activate over internet, use the activate by phone slash fax slash email instead. Question 4 During the installation, I get an error that the serial number or registration code is invalid. Answer If you are only putting in a serial number and not the registration code, then you would see this error. Both codes can be found on the README First card that came in the box. You must enter each in the corresponding fields during the installation. Question 5. I installed ChainDraw Ultra 6.0 But when I launch ChainDraw Chem 3D and ChainFinder, it asks me for the codes. The codes only work with ChainDraw and not with Chem 3D and ChainFinder. Answer. You should never be prompted for codes when launching an application. You should only be prompted for the codes during the installation. The codes are only meant to work at installation of the ChemDraw Ultra Suite. The Chem 3D and ChemFinder applications that come with ChemDraw Ultra are version 5.0 where the chem draw application is 6.0 the codes are 6.0 codes so they will only work with chem draw at startup try uninstalling the software using the add slash remove programs control panel make sure you are logged on as an administrator to the machine then reinstall the software and retest the applications while logged on as administrator Question 6. I am being prompted for codes but the registration code I have does not fit in the space provided or I get a message stating that the codes are not correct? Answer. First, you should only be prompted for codes during the installation of the software, not when launching. If you are being prompted for codes when launching, then there was a problem with the installation. Try uninstalling and reinstalling our software. Make sure you install and launch with sufficient access privileges. If the reg code does not fit or you get an error that they do not match during the installation, then most likely you are using codes not appropriate for the installer. Check to make sure that the CD-ROM label matches the, the description and version for the codes you have. The sticker the codes came on should indicate the product and version. Question 7. When I launch the software, I always get prompted for codes. It never remembers them. Answer. Make sure you have the right access to the location you have installed the software to, as well as the C drive. If you do not have full right access during installation, this problem will occur. You will either need temporary full access privileges or you will need to have a network administrator install the software for you. Question 8. How do I activate BioDraw Pathworks? Answer. When you first launch the program, you will see a licensing and registration dialog box. Copy and paste the host name and the machine ID from this registration dialog box into an email address to pathworks at cambridgesoft.com. We will reply with your license key that you will paste into the license key field and then click on the Start Pathworks button. Question 9. How many activations do I get? Answer. You can activate the software three times for each license. After that, you will need to contact customer service and provide a good reason for requesting more activations. Once we receive your request, we will examine your activation history and your reason for more activations and decide if you are eligible for an increase in activations. As long as you are adhering to the license agreement, increasing your activations should not be an issue. 
question pen. When I launch the software, I get an error that the license has expired. Answer. You may have installed our trial software at some point, which is set to expire after two weeks. Go to the add slash remove programs control panel. Look for any Cambridge Soft software and uninstall it. After all, Cambridge Soft software has been removed. Try reinstalling and launching the software you are trying to use.